Hello, survivors, and welcome to Rust Alpha. Although, maybe I should say welcome back. For some of you, anyway, because I have played Rust on my channel. It's been like two years. It's been a really, really long time. Maybe even longer than that. But man, has this game changed, and for the better. It looks amazing now, doesn't it? We actually have features on the world, unlike uh, in the old days when it was just like a, a huge desert. Very barren, but now we actually have grass, and is this wheat? We have wheat, we have corn, we have uh, trees and bushes and, and scraps. Just trash laying around. Look at this. We can open this up. Oh, nice. Anti-radiation pills. Take them. No, don't, don't eat them. Just take them. Oh, I took them. Okay, well, I meant take from the bin, but I, I think I took them. Well, we'll eat that candy bar anyway. That looks pretty delish. So, yeah, I've actually been playing for maybe an hour or so. You can see here I have a whole bunch of stuff in my inventory. This is me. I'm a lovely uh, ebony woman. Very thin and tall and bald, but I have my beanie on to cover up my head because that's where most of my heat escapes. And, uh, yeah, that the character is actually randomly assigned now in... In Rust, you don't have any choice. There's no character um, customization screen. You're given a character. Could be man, could be woman. Could be short, could be tall, could be fat, could be thin. And uh, you're stuck with it. It's assigned to your Steam ID, apparently. And man, I am thirsty suddenly. Ooh, did those pills make me thirsty? I don't know. Let's go eat some mushrooms. I have some in my stash over here. This is my cave. Welcome to my humble abode. There's no bear in here, right? Nope, there's my sleeping bag. And I have a stash over here in the corner, unless someone found it. Yeah, there it is. This is kind of cool. You can stash stuff away. Um, and I don't know if that's actually visible to other players or not. Or if it's just visible to me, I don't know. Again, a lot has changed in this game, and I am brand spanking new. I'm going to go ahead and eat some of these mushrooms. And give me a little hydration. Not much, but enough to keep me alive for a while. I haven't figured out how to, um, how to purify my water. I actually have a water uh, bag, a boda bag, in there, but uh, I drank the water out of the river and threw up all over myself, and that was bad. Anyway, so what are we doing Russ for? Well, I'll tell you. Hold on. Let's take a look at this bag. You see that? Generic B lives here. He built this. So let's make this generics smelly sack. I'm going to rename that. Bam. That's right, generic. <laughs> now, generic's not on the server right now. And I don't know where he is, because when you log out in Rust, your body literally just falls to the ground, wherever you happen to log out, and it stays in the game, like uh, like on an ARC server. Uh, well, what is that? Is that an aminal? Let's go shoot an aminal. Wait, no, is that it? A... Oh, it is! <gasps> Ooh, wait a minute, that's a wolf. That is a wolf! How many arrows does it take to kill a wolf, I wonder? <laughs> oh, jeez, that was so low. What the heck? Hmm. Got him! <laughs> Bad dog. Got him. Two arrows. Nice. I don't know. Maybe he was friendly. Oh, I get my arrows back. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, one arrow kills a pig and a deer. So the, the arrows, the bows are super powerful in this game. And two to kill a wolf is good. Wolves are nasty. It's a wolf. So you got a skull. You got to kill them before they kill you. Look at these flies, man. They come out fast, don't they? You got to get him before he spoils. Yeah, there we go. All right. So anyway, this is not going to be a very long video. I just wanted to uh, set the hype train in motion because we are going to be doing a Gang Z Rust server, a whole series. We're going to be starting very soon. So stay tuned for that. I'm not exactly sure when, but we're still uh, we're still tossing around dates to get started. We're not starting on the server right now. This is going to be wiped completely. We're going to start fresh. Oh, check out that skull. Can I wear that? I know, but I can crush it. All right, let's crush it. Would it give me some kind of bone fragments or something? I don't know. Anyway, okay, so yeah, I just, again, just want to let you guys know what's coming down the pike. And I know you have a lot of questions, so I will try to answer them here right now over the next few minutes as we play. And if I don't answer your questions, then please put it in the comments down below, and I will try to answer them there. Now, I know people are going to wonder, what happened to... Unturned Gang Z on Hawaii. You guys are so excited. But you just haven't done anything in a while. And I, I can't speak for everyone. But I know that a lot of the guys on the server have kind of... Kind of want a break from Unturned. Oh, a little low, a little low. 
So I think I think it was fun at first, and then, oh, right in the butt, but he's still running. Let's see if I can get him again. I don't want to leave the poor fella running around injured. So we gotta. Oh man, is he really booking it? <laughs> Missed. Uh, hold on, let's check this uh, detritus over here. We'll catch him. We'll follow his blood trail. <laughs> they don't really leave a blood trail, but sounded good. All right, you know what? I'm not gonna chase that deer into the woods. I just saw a wolf over there. Let's let's turn back around. I kind of want to stay close to my uh, my cave. <laughs> I've already been killed by a bear once, and when you die in rust, you pretty much lose everything. Well, it falls to the ground, and if you can't get back to it, then you lose it. Um, anyway, so yeah, I was saying, and I can't speak for everyone, but I'm I'm uh, I've got enough unturned going right now, and I wasn't really who who narrow. It must have been my miss. And I wasn't really putting a lot of time into Hawaii Gang Z. And I know a lot of people want me to get back to it, but I'm just not feeling it this season. I have a Hawaii solo play going with my role play, and I'd rather focus on that right now. But we are really, really excited about Rust Gang Z, and I think that's going to help with everyone getting back into it. Because everyone seems to be slowing down, or most of us anyway, seem to be slowing down. And we've been talking about Rust for a, a long time. Many, many months. And now we are ready to get started. So we hope you guys enjoy this. I think it's going to be great. We're going to have two teams this year, uh, this season, instead of three. Because apparently making um, bases in this game, collecting resources and all that, requires a lot more people than just uh, a few. We're also thinking having two teams will open up more opportunities for collaborations. Since the teams will be larger and we'll have more people working together on the server at the same time. At least that is the theory. We'll see how that works in practice. <laughs> but anyway, we are really excited. So I hope you guys are too. I think it's going to be a lot of fun with the two teams on this map. Let me show you the map, in fact. The map is pretty big. Um, hold on, how do I scroll out? Right here. And there's all these um, pre-generated locations of interest, like this one right here, a power plant, the lighthouse, a mining outpost. So there's a lot of places to explore and get set up with our bases. We'll probably even have multiple bases scattered all around. I don't know. I mean, it's a big, big map. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and I'm soaking wet right now. I imagine that has some kind of negative impact on me. Physically or mentally. Uh, I hear something moving. Oh, it's a, oh, it's that deep. Oh, jeez. I was thinking this was the, uh, the stranded deep way of shooting bows where you hold down the right mouse button and aim, but no. When you hit the right mouse button, it releases the arrow. Anyway, we're going to be getting more into this game with all the details, and uh, we'll be doing the whole survival thing once we get started. This is really just for practice to get our feet wet so we kind of know what the heck's going on when we begin. And where did that dude go? He just disappeared. He went into the rock. Now he's gone. Like Houdini. Uh, let's go to the lighthouse and we'll loot one location together because I'm curious about it. Anyway, this is going to be a very cold swim. And hopefully there's nothing in the water that can eat me. I don't know. We're going to find out. And I'm not sure if Generic B has actually looted this place yet. Oh, that sounds like shark music to me. Oh, it's too cold. It's really cold. Can I dive? <gasps> yeah. I can dive. Yeah, that, that's that's like Jaws music. Swim faster, please. Oh, what is that thing? Is that a little dude? Hey, little dude. Oh, it's a sleeping body. <laughs> it's a sleeping body. Someone's over here. How did he get up there? Hello. Maybe that's Generic. Oh, dang it, I can't get to that body. I really want to put something in his pocket. Can I, I can make a note, I think. Let's make a note. I think I need to make paper. And we can craft up some kind of a note. Uh, Picture frame? Oh, we can make a sign pose for him, anyway. Oh, here we go. Note. Let's craft up a paper note. But I gotta try to get up on that body and leave him a note. If we can't, we'll just put a sign down. <laughs> Look at his, oh, he's so peaceful with his hands under his cheek like that. That's got to be generic. Maybe I should just shoot him down. <laughs> yeah, well, that seems like a bug. That's too bad. He's actually pretty safe up there. Nothing can eat him. Although I could shoot him. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, let's close the door. We don't want any 
Bears or wolves coming in after us. Uh, it looks like we can go up a little higher. I bet I can go up higher here. I don't want to break anything. All right, this looks like I can get up there, but... Okay, here's what we got to do. we got to jump to this parkour. There we go. All right, we're at the top. We made it! Ooh, that looks flammable. That's flammable. Don't want to poke that. All right, all the way up. I wonder if Generic made it up here. Let's get the torch out, because it's just kind of cool. And I'm going way past the time limit on this. I wasn't going to play for more than five or ten minutes. <laughs> but now I'm intrigued, and I know you guys want to get to the top of this tower. This lighthouse and see what's up here. Some more crates. Oh, oh, we climb up on the outside now. Oh dear, this is this is dangerous. There better be something awesome at the top of this thing. This is a lot of work. Still climbing. Can I speed? Oh yeah. Okay, so if you hold down shift, you can climb ladders faster. Ooh, that looks dangerous. Although I wonder if I land in the water, I'd be okay. You know. What is that? A semi-automatic body. Ooh! So yes, we can actually craft up guns in this game. Check it out. So that's going to be super important. Like this MP5. Uh, high quality metal SMG body. Semi-automatic rifle right here. I love that it's like a makeshift rifle. Like it's something you'd see in Mad Max, right? Yeah. Alright, well we have the semi-automatic body. Um, I had a metal spring. Oh, you know what? I do have a metal spring. I have a metal spring in my stash. But I don't have 450 metal fragments. I'm gonna jump. I mean, again, this isn't this isn't our server. It's not the persistent server. It's just for fun right now, for practice, and I think I might be able to make it. I think that's probably why this is here, so you don't have to climb all the way back down. Let's turn off the torch. You don't need it. Use my hand for that. It's silly. And ready? Three, two, one. Geronimo! Don't hit the rocks! I hit the rocks! I'm wounded. You will die unless you get help soon. Somebody help! Generic! <laughs> Why would they put that there? That was a long way down. I thought I could make the water. I needed a little better boost. You will die unless you get help soon. Now, how long do I have to wait? All right, I, I'm going to buzz Generic. Hold on. Let me get, I'm going to get him on Discord. Oh, no! Oh, I'm dead. I'm in the water. Uh, I was killed by nothing. All right, well, I can go back to my sleeping bag and light up a torch. Here we are. I'm going to go back and get my stuff. I think I can get it. If it's still on the rock, anyway. If it went down to the bottom of the river, I won't be able to. All right, anyway, with that, my friends, I think we're going to call it quits. That was a fitting end for the end of this episode. And uh, stay tuned for more, obviously. Um, we'll be starting pretty soon. All right, guys, I think I found the location where I died. There's a lot of flies here. I'm assuming that's where my body is, but I don't see my pack. It's probably underwater somewhere. At least I think that's why those flies are flying around there. I don't know for sure. Whatever. I'll just start over. No big deal. Again, this is just for practice. We're going to get started on the rail thing in a few days anyway, most likely. But, uh, yeah, so that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed, and once again... Um, put any questions or comments down in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them and uh, read all your feedback so I hope you guys are as excited as we are can I hit him? oh gosh no <laughs> I want to set his burlap on, on fire but I don't think I can quite reach him you know what I'm going to log out right here we'll be, we'll be sleeping together side by side me and I think that's generic oh look at him he looks so cozy up there floating by the moon that's awesome. All right, we'll see you guys. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.